Hey, hello everyone. We might get so many issues in the pricing. Uh, the issue might be in the sales order or uh, in invoice. Uh, something wrong with the uh, condition amount value that is KB ETR or uh, condition uh, basis value that is KAWRT and uh, condition value uh, that is KWERT. So whenever there is an issue specifically the pricing then uh, we should remember this uh, form that is XKOMB underscore Beaverton. This form is uh, that include LV61 WA55. This is the important form which will be called in case of pricing determination into sales order or invoice. Now let's understand how this form works and uh, how it works and how the step by step the pricing will be performed in this form. Let's understand them in detail. As you see here, uh, initially in the form, uh, declaration will be happens and uh, refreshing and clearing the tables and variables. Uh, then immediately we have an user exit in this form that is user exit SKOMB button in it. So in this form we can uh, uh, it's a custom it's a user exit right so we can write our uh, uh, code whatever we want to manipulate the pricing. So in starting of this uh, SKOMB button we have this perform which is a user exit. Then immediately uh, the loop runs. The loop runs in the internal table XKOMB. You guys should remember XKOMB is the important internal table which will hold the pricing information. Later, this data only updated into database table KONV. In S4 HANA, it is PRCD underscore elements, but in ACC, KONV table is used. So the loop runs inside the loop first uh, validation happens on the KINAC field XKOMB KINAC KINAC is nothing but uh, inactivity reason if any condition type are inactive then that will be updated into this field and based on this field we can verify and validate whether that any step or condition type is inactive or not. So whenever uh, KINAC not equal to KLMXZ. Okay, whenever the KINAC doesn't contain this uh, value KLMXZ, then only next code in that uh, loop will be triggered. If it is KLMXZ, then the loop will run for second record. It won't run the further codes whenever it is KLMXZ. So now let's move forward. Uh, the next validation happens on that uh, KONP entry. Right. So if uh, condition record has been uh, maintained for uh, pricing, for example, uh, uh, JP01, the base price, condition record has been determined. So KNUMH will hold the condition record number here. And uh, if KOPOS, if KOPOS is equal to zero. That means there is no entry in the KONP table. So KONH is uh, uh, condition record header table. KONP is condition record item table. If there is no, if uh, KOPOS equal to zero in KONP table, then uh, KINAC field will be updated as X. Then we are filling some uh, messages 899. Then modifying the XKOMB later continue will happen continue will happen in the sense uh, the loop runs for second record in XKOMB so we will continue from here in the next video